MIUI 13 is released few months ago, but unfortunately, it's not available for the older models. But if you still want to enjoy from the new features and the new design, then in this video I'm going to show you thoroughly the entire installation process of MIUI 13 on Redmi Note 7. So eventually you will install MIUI 13 correctly and with confidence. So without further ado, let's start! So before we start with the installation process, we need to do a few important things. And the first one is to unlock the bootloader of Xiaomi. And that is really crucial because with this step we will be able to proceed with the entire installation process of MIUI 13. So if your device is still locked and you don't know how to start, then watch this step by step tutorial. Secondly, we need a microUSD card to store the installation files. The next step is to install custom recovery image on our devices called TWRP which provides full control over the phone even without booting the Android. We're going to download TWRP from the official website. You will find a lot of versions for TWRP files, but you need to choose the proper version for your device. In my case, I own Redmi Note 7, so the proper version for my device is Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Lavender. Now scroll down to the download links and choose your preferred source. Now you can download the TWRP file. I always choose the most up-to-date version. So after you downloaded the TWRP image, we're gonna need ADB tools. And we're going to use these tools to install the recovery image on our device. Now we're going to download the ADB tools from the XDA developer website. And you can download files according to your operating system. I'm going to choose the download for Windows. Now we're going to extract the zip file to regular folder. The next step is to copy TWRP image to the Platform Tools folder and rename it to TWRP.image. and we are ready to install the recovery image on our phone. Firstly, power off your smartphone. Secondly, press on the low volume button and then press on the power button for a few seconds until the fast boot is loaded. And finally, connect the phone to your computer. Go back to Platform Tools folder. Go to Address Bar and highlight the entire path of the folder. And instead type CMD and hit the Enter button. If for some reason it doesn't work properly, then copy the full path of the folder, search the command prompt and run it as administrator. Type CD and paste the folder path. Then run the following command. Fast boot devices. This command should return serial number, indicating that it recognizes your phone. If your device is recognized by the fast boot, we are ready to install TWRP and run the following command: fast boot slash recovery twrp.img. If everything goes well, you should see done message on your command prompt. And now unplug the phone from the computer and press on the volume up button and then on the power button and hold it for a few seconds until you see the boot logo and after another few seconds your phone will boot into TWRP. The first and the most important thing we should do is to back up our phone before we do any changes. Because if something goes wrong in the process, we can always bring back our phone to its preview state. On the main screen, click on the backup button, select Boot, Data and System, and then swipe the bar at the button to start the backup process. The backup will take a while, so give it a time. When it finishes, go back to the backup menu, uncheck all the options and scroll to the button. If you have special partitions listed after the recovery, such as PDS or EFS, Check it and perform one more backup. After the data is backed up, go to the main screen and press on the Y button. Choose Advanced Wipe and select everything except of the USB storage and microSD. Swipe the bar the button to start the process. 
When it's done, go back to the wipe and press and format data. And type yes. And here comes the most exciting part. We're going to install MIUI 13 on our devices. And you will find in the description link to MIUI 13, the global version. But I must mention that I searched for a very long time over the internet for the most stable ROM of MIUI 13 and I found the one. But the language is adjusted to Russian. But don't worry, I will show you the entire installation process and how to set the language to English or any other language of your choice. After you downloaded the files of MIUI 13, connect your phone to computer while the recovery mode is on. And we are going to copy the zip file to the SD card. Go back to the main screen of the TWRP and press on install. Choose microSD and select the ROM. Swap the icon from the installation of the ROM and wait until it's done. The installation will take a while, so give it a time. In the end of the process, press on Reboot System. The first thing we need to do is to press the first button and enter the password of your MIUI account. As you can see, this ROM is customized very basically, and everything is in Russian. So to start setting up the phone, we need to change the language. Go to settings of the phone, and we need additional settings. You will find it beneath the battery icon. Now choose the second option to change the language. On the next screen, choose the first option. And now you can choose your language. When you connect to your Wi-Fi, you can start customizing your operating system and explore the new features. Everything we have done now is not permanent. And if you change your mind, you can always go back to the official MIUI 12 and lock your phone. And to see how it's done, watch the next video.